my peeps. I have gemstone orphanage beads here. Um, Kumbaba. This is a Kumbaba bead. I hope I'm saying it right. It's got green and black. Swirls. I like that side. That side's better. And then I have also, this is green goldstone. I don't know if you can see the green. Maybe if I get the light over here. There. There you see it. There we can see it. I didn't know they had green goldstone, but here it is. All right. What do I have? I got two down here. All right, I have, I'm going to wire wrap each of the green gold stones. So I have about four and a half inches of uh, 20 gauge wire and it's very soft. So wish, wish me luck on getting this right. Oh, get in view. Get that X right above the point. And then we'll move the back one, the tall one, straight up. And then we're gonna take the bottom one and wrap around the base of the tall one. Just a couple wraps. There we go. Snip it off and back. And tuck that in a little bit. So soft. All right, now I'm gonna make a wrap loop up on top with my round nose pliers. Bend it over the pliers. I don't want a big loop, so I'm not gonna go very far up on the pliers. Bring that wire back and over. Bring the pliers around. So I can bring the wire all the way around and now we're going to wrap. Oh, let's see. Okay, snip it off. This is the back. There we have one. I think I want the wire or the loop to go that way. So soft. I actually got a different wire. But it's got to get used up, you know. You bought it, you might as well use it. So here we are. So we're going to go up and over. I just bend along the curve of the bead. Okay, now I'm going to bend this one straight up and then wrap this one around the base.
There we go. Two times. All right, now we're going to make a wrap loop up here. And I wanted the loop to go this way, so we're going to bend it over this way. Bring it up on the pliers, bend it up and over the pliers, rotate the pliers so we can bring the wire all the way around the pliers. Now we're going to wrap. This is the back. It don't look very pretty, does it? And I wanted the... There we go. All right, two more. You know, I did this one off camera. Look how pretty this one's turned out. This one turned out. I don't get it. I don't know. But I just keep plugging away. Plugging away. Eventually, something's going to go my way. Eventually. Sooner or later. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. All right, bend this one straight up. Where did that come from? And wrap around the base. Okay, now we're going to snip this part off. And then we're going to go over the top. Over the top of the pliers. Not a very big loop. And then up and over the pliers. Rotate the pliers. Bring the wire all the way around. And I'll wrap. Snip it off and back. Now this one turned out great. This one turned out nice. Did I want it that way? Yes. Okay. Now we got this one. Good practice, I guess. The more you do, the better you get. <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> Once I get it in across, I can bring it down with my finger and it usually keeps it in line. So take this one straight up and then wrap this one around the base. And snip it up. Now we're going to do this one. Like 
think those gotta be pinched. There we go. Pinch them together a little bit. Okay, bend it over the pliers. Bring pliers up to make a loop. Bend it up and over. Bring it all the way around. And then wrap. Okay, this is the back. Snip that off. Tuck this in. And I want that. I don't want to come out of there. Okay, there we are. Okay. We have our loops done for everything. Let's do our focal here. Well, this is part of our focal. And then this is part of our focal. So I'm going to do another wrapped loop with this one. Over the top of the pliers, bring the pliers up, up and over, rotate all the way around the pliers. Whoops, turned it too far. And wrap. There we go. Whoops, out of view. There we go. That looks better. This one looks like it's better in front. That looks like more the front. Let's take this all the way back here. And snip it off back here. Sorry, I keep going out of view. Sorry, 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 sorry. And there we have that one. Okay, now we're going to connect the two with a jump ring. So I need my bent nose. Our jump ring, twist it, leave this one alone, and just twist with this side, this side, this side, close it back up. There's our focal. Beautiful. So pretty. I love the colors. Alrighty, now start stringing. I got all this stuff mapped out. Got my 49 strand because it's the softest drape. This is the diagram of what the what it looks like inside of this 0 0.019 inch um, beading wire. So this is what I'm going to use. I don't like the end there. We're going to snip that off. 
and we'll get started. I had a horrible time coming up with a pattern because I have just such a few beads left, but I think I did pretty good. And the gold goes very well with it. Oh no. Oh no. See one side. There's a big hole. The other side is clogged. So. Got an awl here. Oh, I heard a crunch. All right. There we go. And then we go seed bead. Seed bead. Our new pretty decoration. Whoops. And then I don't know how this is going to go. I'm going to have to probably get the all out. this end, see if we can force it through the other end. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's see if I did enough. I guess I'm going to have to go back and dig through. Looks like it would go through, but I don't have anything long enough to poke in there. That's too big. All right, hang on. All right, let's see how this goes. Do I leave this one on here? Yeah, I don't want this one. There we go. And then a crystal. Two more of these. One. Whoop. And then this. And then one of these. Oh, I didn't put the seed beads on. Then this, because we don't want wire on wire, so I put the seed beads on so it, it's not wire on wire. That don't look like it's going to work. Okay, now we got our Kambaba beads, which we have very little of.
think I have another one that's on this side. And then this. And then we get on the other side. Crystal. Whoops. One of these. Sea bead. Two sea beads. Our pretty green gold stone. Another gold crystal. Okay, we're cruising along now. One sea bead, two sea beads. this one in and then we do the seed beads and then we put this on there and then another one of these and then our kebab beads All right, that. All right, let's get this all out of the way. That's it. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. I like it. All right, well, let's finish this up. Oops, let me put this down. Okay, crimp tube. Crimp tube on, wire guard, does exactly what it is, it is a wire guard, two holes in it, Oop. two holes in it, and I'm going to go in one hole, up and over, down the other hole, back through the crimp bead, crimp tube, Oops, thought I had it. Now I'm going to pull. No, I don't want to do that. Because this is this end I can I can get away with it. With a small. Where did the crimp tube go? Ah. Right here. There we go. There. And then we're going to pinch this in just a little bit. And then we're going to crimp it. Always in the back. Go in the back first. Squeeze, go in the front, turn it sideways, squeeze, cut off the excess, and then we slide everything down. And I'm going to give myself about 
I gave myself about like four finger lengths to cut this off and give me room to do the side. So we're going to do a crimp tube. Wire guard. Up and over. Down the other side. Back through the crimp tube. And now I'm going to pull so the necklace comes up and meets the wire guard. And get a hold of it. I pull that crimp bead down. I pull the crimp bead down and then pull. See how that works? There. Now we don't want it too tight, we don't want it too loose. We're going to crimp, put it in the back groove, squeeze, turn sideways in the front groove, squeeze, cut off our excess. And there she is. Isn't that pretty? All right, now we're going to put on our chain. Let me see how long this is. All right, we need six inches, six inches of chain. this gold filled chain I got is dainty so I thought well this is dainty so I'll go with that and yep jump ring should fit in there now I'm going to cut off six inches two six inch chains and we'll cut off this one Then give me a wire, go through one, the very last chain, and then stick this chain on. And then go down and snip that way we have two even chains one for this side one for that side and we're going to do our jump rings got my bent nose Open it up, leave this one alone, and twist with this one. Close it up. There's one side. Now we'll do the other side. Same as the first. <laughs> Open, leave this alone, twist with this side, didn't give it enough room, and slide on. Oops. And close it up. Now, at the end of this chain, I got another jump ring.
And we're going to open this up and give it some room here. Open it, put it right on the edge there. Open it up, put it on the chain, and put our crimp, or our crimp, our clasp. This is a button clasp. So I'm going to put one side on here, close it up, and then, oh, I guess I didn't need that one because I was thinking of a clasp, a lobster claw clasp, and I didn't use that, so we just need a jump ring on the chain, and then the other side goes on the button clasp. And close it up. There's this. Oh, he's so pretty. You see how this is? <laughs> it's okay. So pretty. All right, now I have a pair of earrings over here. Oh, and there's the other one. So I got this, this, and these. So we're gonna do another wrapped loop. About a third of the way down and bend along The bead and then take this one bend it up this one bend sideways whoops don't 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 move that one you know this one go sideways and we're gonna wrap around this Okay, I'm going to snip this off and back. Press that in. And now we're going to do a wrap loop up here. Over the top of the pliers. Come up, figure out how big you want your loop. Bring the wire up and over. Rotate the pliers and bring that wire all the way around. And then we're going to wrap. There, I think I'll just snip it off right here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Snip this off. Oops, I didn't get rid of this one. And that in. Oh. Beauteous. Got one. One more to go. Up the sides of the bead, and then you know what? This worked out better when this was in back. Let's see if that makes a difference.
I'm trying to go slow. Okay. That's the front. I'm just going to keep going around to the back. And here's the back. Snip it off. Tuck that in just a bit. And then we're going to wrap this one on top to make a wrap loop. Bend it over the pliers, bring it up a little ways, up and over the pliers, rotate the pliers, bring that all the way around, and then we're going to wrap. Beautiful. Beautiful. Throw away. And tuck. Oh. <laughs> See? That's how it's supposed to go. Alrighty. Now, oh, I didn't get out no had pins to put these on. <laughs> Alright. Give me a second. Now, I have a couple of eye pins here, and we're going to put on a seed bead down at the bottom, and then a crystal, and then we're going to do a wrapped loop. So, we're going to bend it over. Well, I want to do a wrap loop. Or can we do a simple loop? Hmm, this feels snug enough. Let's do a simple loop. Let's just bend it right over again. And then we're going to snip it off. And then roll it back. Close it up. That's my loop. Now the other one. Seed bead first. Crystal. And then we're going to bend it over the top. Snip it off. And roll it back. Get it started. And then here we go. Perfect. They're both the same size. Ta da! Yes. Oh. Okay. Now we want to open these small. Little loops down here. Open up. And then we're going to slide this on. Close it up. That one can be opened. Okay. Like this one. Slide it on. Whoops. Close it up. Thought I need jump rings because I was going to do a wrap loop, but I chose not to do a wrap loop. So now I need a couple of ear wires. A couple of ear wires out. Got them buried. Nope. And then I think I'll just open this one up right here. It's 
just a little bit. Slide that on. Close it up. These are uh, stainless steel. Gold. This is the only part that's gold. <laughs> so I'm like, oh well. That works. Alright, now this one. We're going to open this up. Slide this on. And close it up. Oh my goodness. There. We have this beautiful necklace and earrings with green gold stone and kumbaba beads. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I love it. You see it all? Yay. I love it. It is so pretty. All right. Well, that's the end of this video. So until next time, everybody, happy beating.